Churchill news. Ah, they can take a joke. Hello and welcome to the eighth and final Churchill News. I'm your host, B. Luger. This program has represented the eight songs on the latest original Churchill music album released by Roy Mexted, Smiling Like a Sundog. If you haven't got your copy, they're still available at the Northern Store, the hardware store, and by postal order through the link on this video's description. Well, with a heavy heart, we say goodbye to the characters that have offered us humour and entertainment in these challenging times. Once more, let's cross to our colourful cast to hear some words of wisdom and to give their final reports. First up is the talented Rob Yenna. Yeah, nah, from my final tutorial, I thought I'd do a little bit of jewellery that I found on uh, Miriam's website. Um, yeah, just a nice pendant design uh, from Muriel um, here in Churchill. So, yeah. Well, she's got heaps of good stuff on YouTube and Facebook and all that, like making silly things out of sticks and stones or getting the family to dress up like weirdos. Yeah, she's pretty much lost her mind. But yeah, check it out if you want to laugh. <laughs> so first, to make a piece of right, just grab a like, random bit of wood. Doesn't have to be round, like the square's fine. Right, we'll chuck it there. Right, then just like, just, like, just do what she's doing. Couple of drilling and that and that. Probably just like, hey! right, chuck it like a shiny thing in there. Today I'm using a fishing hook, right? We'll keep that in place with the little nail. Now what's she doing there? Oh, just start, yeah, just start drawing the stuff on it. Ah, uh, what's she drawing there? Oh, trees? Yeah, just draw trees on. Oh, that's how ironic, eh? Yeah, I bet the tree, the dead wood, just loves you drawing, like, fresh little trees on it. Like putting feathers on a roast chicken. <laughs> More trees. That's looking good, that is. Next, like, get some glue, whatever she's got there. I'm just gonna get glue, mix it up there. She's got a blue thing there. I'm not got blue, so I'm using hot sauce. Get that bit of a red pigment in it. Like I said, you can use soy sauce also. You want a bit of a blacker tinge. Right, just stir it up with your pencil or whatever. And then, looks like we're making a river or something like some design on there. So I'll just get that over there. And make a nice bit of colour on there. Like that. Right, to be, to be honest, I don't know what she's doing now, but um, I reckon that if you're not quite sure about something, what you can also do is just put WD-40 on it. So I'm going to go ahead and spray them up, get that good, nice and good and juicy. That'll stop it from like seizing up. There we go. Oh, my can's a bit naked. Get out of it. There you are, look. Yeah, beautiful. Wonderful. There you go. To be honest, that turns out real good. Um, so now she's just going to sand it and that, so this is probably the most delicate bit, so just get, give it a nice and gentle sanding now. It's a nice and gentle sanding, you don't want to destroy your masterpiece. So right, get the, maybe a little bit bigger gauge. Good, right, a little bit of extra glue on the top there. Thanks, Rob Yena. You've been an inspiration to this town, and thanks for sharing your arts and crafts with us throughout the series. What's your plans going forward? Yena, yeah, nah, thanks for putting up with me and that, everyone, eh? Yeah, I've got a new job in demolition. Let's get straight to our next reporter, Goose Grills. It's been thrilling following your stories, guiding us throughout the natural world of the north, from polar bears to the search for the mythical adlet. What are you up to today? Yeah, g'day folks, there you go. Look, spring's here, the sun's shining, and that means one thing, guys, goose hunting. Right, I'm a professional, and I wanna show you the tricks of the trade of goose hunting. It's important to be an ethical hunter. You always want to respect the birds as they offer themselves to you. Right, so put out a bit of a call, right? Cocker! Cocker! Here, goosey, 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 goosey. In turn, the 
bird show you respect. Oh, here we go. We got something coming, guys. Here comes an offering for us, guys. Here we are. <coughs> oh, I got him. <coughs> oh. Oh. Guys, well, I said we do use all of the animal that we can, but in this situation, we don't need to use everything. Mm, maybe a nice sauce. Thanks again, Goose. What are your adventures for the future? I'm thinking of starting a zoo here up in the Arctic. Um, I'm gonna call myself Goose Exotic, the Tundra King. Ooh. See you later, folks. Good luck with that, Goose. Well, let's cross now to our in-house chef, Louis-Pierre Chadeur, and see what he's up to. Louis, you're not in the kitchen. Hello, Beluga. Yes, I'm here. Secret location. I believe I was a little bit too hasty when I gave the recipe of the cheese on the toast uh, for the world to see. Uh, I think I need to bury and hide the secret recipe so that in the future uh, civilizations in the future I may find it and and give it and give it to the, the world at a later time when it's all ready, you know. Uh, excuse me. I take the, the cheese on toast and the recipe I put it back in the box and I hide it away. To the gods of the food, please keep the recipe safe. One day, only the Frenchiest of the Frenchmen will discover this. Give to the world the pleasure of the cheese on the toast. Ah! Oh, that was beautiful, Louis. Thank you. What are your plans for the future? Well, I think I will become uh, the trainer of the dog. Uh, this dog uh, listens to me uh, very well. I uh, watch, I uh, watch. Uh, I come. Uh, I come here. Uh, I sit. I uh, voila. And I go. I go play. I go play. I come. Uh, I throw a stick. Uh, go out. Uh, uh, no. No. The recipe. No. Thanks, Louis. We wish you all the best. And finally, the last weather report. We cross now to Hamish McDougaldon. Hamish. Hi, thanks, Beluga. Well, as you can see, folks, I can finally report that the spring is on the way. Oh, just look at the sun shining and the ice is melting. The birds are coming back and me haggis is starting to defrost. Oh, it's great. Oh, oh no. Oh, it looks like the weather's taking a swift turn for the worst. It should be passing soon. As you can see, the weather can change quite fast around here, but it's back to the normal now. Nice and fresh and spring is in the air. Oh no. Just like that, the weather can turn for the worst. Oh no, it's a blizzard. Ah. Thanks again, Hamish, for your insights. You will be dearly missed here in the studio. What future plans have you got in store? Well, I think I might pursue a future in my new sporting career. And what is that, Hamish? Well, the extreme northern sport of... Arctic swimming! Very refreshing! swimming in mashed potatoes. <laughs> well, folks, that brings us to the end of Churchill News. We'd like to thank all of our reporters and the people of Churchill and our viewers around the world. We've taken a few friendly digs at some Churchill residents, and for those individuals, we say thank you for your cooperation and support. Thanks especially to Mark Reynolds for taking quite a few hits for the team. And as a show of thanks, the Churchill News team has prepared a delicious cake for Mark, and we'd like to deliver that to him now as a show of truce. Hamish, would you like to do the honours? Oh, would you look at that? Oh, it's a lovely cake. Mark's gonna love it. Marshmallows and cream and chocolate. Oh, I... Churchill News! Oh. Oh.
And with that, I say thank you and goodbye from all of us here at Churchill News. I've been your host, B. Luger. Why not take another look through the series and playlist and hit share? Uh, see what's happening next on the Churchill Entertainment. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, like us on Facebook. Well, it's been a pleasure. Why don't we all stick around and listen to the last song from Roy's album, Smiling Like a Sundog. This is a lovely song. Sure you're going to enjoy it. <sighs> thanks folks, thanks for thanks for listening in on the whole show. I'll get myself set up here for our final song. This song's kind of a, a lovely little song. Sort of tells it tells a story that uh, hope it paints a, a nice image in your mind. So uh, maybe having a campfire out out in the frozen bay with a polar bear. Polar bear is just playing the harmonica, of course. Well, so here we are. So this song's called The Bear and the Harmonica. Riding my beluga to the middle of the bay Diving down to dance with the ring seals I'm happy down below But I'm rising to the surface Waiting for the freeze up and my friend The cold is setting in Hold my hands above the campfire the legend of the Arctic counts us in. One, two, three. Now I'm strumming my guitar, and a bear plays the harmonica, sitting by a fire in the snow. I'm staring at the skies, and the lights dance along with us. Hoping that this night would never end With a bear he looks at me And he puts down his harmonica Standing like a giant of the seas I dare not stop my song I'm scared but keep my strumming strong He sits down a little closer to me Frozen fingers aching And the cracking of the campfire Takes me to a place I've never been Where I was strumming my guitar And a bear plays the harmonica Standing like a giant of the seas I'm staring at the skies and the light stands along with us Hoping that this night won't be my last Breaching icy waters I turn to where our fire was A misty trail of smoke Rising high, high, high Where I was strumming my guitar And a 
Staring at the skies And the lights danced along with us Hoping that this dream might come again Okay, I'll see you at the next adventure.